What's up guys, today we're doing good, easy and realistic rope simulations as you can see here. We're doing this quick and we're doing this efficient so you don't waste your time and we're actually doing this one. But at first I want to show you the video with sound design that was done by friend, his Instagram is linked in the bio. By the way, check out my Patreon if you want to support me or just download my project files and hit the like and subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Let's go. At first, we're going to create a path. This basically is our rope that will be simulated with soft body physics. Hit tab to go into edit mode and subdivide it just once. After that, add a plane to your scene, scale it a little bit and apply a collision modifier to it. Select your path and duplicate it as often as you want to. Um, create your own composition or copy mine. So the paths are the ropes basically. Now select everything and join them with Ctrl J, then go right click and convert them to a mesh. As you can see when you go into edit mode it should look like this. Apply a soft body modifier to your ropes. Now press play and see your ropes jiggling around in the air. Now we have to create a few vertex groups. Select the left side of your ropes and assign them to a vertex group named left. Create another vertex group named right. Hit the tab key, go into edit mode. Now select the right side of your ropes vertices and hit also assign. Click on your left vertex group, hit select, shift and click on your right vertex group and also select. So you have both vertex groups selected and now create a third vertex group with the name all. Press assign and now you get both sides of your ropes vertices assigned to one group. Now go into your soft body settings and select your all vertex group. Now you can see that your assigned vertices staying in place while the others are simulated by the soft body. The most important thing is to check sub collisions and adjust your ball size to 0.6 or something. Now check the stiffness option and set it to 1 if it's not. Under edges, increase your damp value to something like 50. Let me just show you my settings right here on the big screen. Just pause the video and copy them. As you can see now, our ropes are behaving a lot like ropes, they're not too elastic and they're not too stiff. So the next step to do is create two empties that act as controllers for our ropes. Imagine it as a control point to twist or locate your rope's ends. Now duplicate it and do it also on the other side. I wanted to move just the three upper ropes that you can see here, so I created a new vertex group for the left, assigned three vertices to it and did it again to the right side as you can see here. If you want to move all ropes together, skip this step and just use the vertex group left and right that we created in the beginning of the video. Now add two hook modifiers to your ropes. On the first one, select your left empty and the left controller or left vertex group. For the other hook modifier, select your right empty and your right vertex group or right controller. Now animate the controllers how you want it to. Imagine it as pulling the ends of the ropes or twisting the end of the ropes be creative in this aspect to get your own unique result here i wanted to get the result where the three ropes on the downside pulling the upper rope up and stretching it out a little bit to make everything work right make sure that your soft body modifier lays underneath the hook modifiers and after playing around a little bit and with the bar size of 0.6 the settings that i showed you before i came to this result The problem now is that we can't see anything in rendered mode. So you have to go into your geometry nodes and we have to do a quick setup. Press the new button and add a mesh to curve modifier. After that, add a curve to mesh modifier. Now we can create a curve circle node and plug it into the profile curve. As you can see, we got geometry now, but the radius is way too big, so decrease the radius to something like 0.009. To increase your resolution, add a subdivision surface modifier and set your level to maximum 2. Now add a set material node and create your favorite texture. As I did, I added the magic texture and plugged it into the height of the bump node and played around with the color a little bit. Be creative here, give your scene a nice lighting and don't forget to bake your soft body simulation before pressing the render button. Basically that's it and always remember never stop blending, never stop being creative and if you get any questions as always write it down in the comments or write me a DM on Instagram. Have a nice day and see you.